Hey, Andre, did you know that Mitsubishi builds trucks around the world? I do know that, yes. Uh, in Europe, Asia, Australia. And did you know that they also build pickup trucks? Uh, yes. And did you know that they don't sell pickup trucks here in America? I do know that. They, they're selling a car and a couple of crossovers. But because of you guys, we've got a bunch of a spy photography snapshots of what looks to us like a Mitsubishi testing in America. Why don't you tell them what we got, Andre? So yeah, so this, uh, thanks to uh, folks like Jeremiah, for example, uh, sending us images uh, from Michigan. This is, I think this is the Upper Peninsula where I recently was actually on a different project. And what does this look like to you? A pickup truck, Andre. It looks it, like a pickup truck. It, it does. And at first, at first glance, when I looked at the front of this one, we'll have more images later. Um, it almost looked like a Chevy to me. But then I looked closer, you know, there's kind of a weird uh, kind of a cut line. There's some headlights, uh, six lugs. So I knew it was probably a beefy midsize truck. Um, and then the window was interesting. But then in the rear, this cut line and this bumper kind of suggests it's a Mitsubishi. And what are the plates? Are they manufacturer plates? Yes. Look at that. That's always a good clue to find out if it indeed is a manufacturer test truck. Interesting. Trucks. So what truck do you think that is? You did some research, and then we'll look at the other pictures in a sec. Yeah, so uh, I did some research. So it's called, for example, the L200. Do we have pictures of that? Uh, yes. So for example, if you go to the uh, UK Mitsubishi site, you can pull this up. and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. That definitely looks like the same front. That's yeah, kind of like yeah. the main lights and then kind of a marker lights up top. For sure. So let's make it bigger. And is it six lugs too? We can't count really. Uh, I, I think it is. But <laughs> look at this. So I was looking, doing some research and they have a lot of interesting names in marketing. Uh, so first of all, see the cut line? See uh, the little bumper? I'll show you in the, in the, in the back in a second. Uh, where, so this is the interior. Mm -hmm. This is obviously the UK right hand drive. And see the bumper hanging down? Yeah, that's right it. Right there? Yeah. So it's very similar to what we saw. That probably wouldn't pass American. <laughs> well, you know what else has this? What? The G-Wagon Squared. Oh, yeah. It also has it. So you don't, <laughs> you don't uh, submarine underneath it if you hit it by accident. Yeah. Um, so, of course, what we're asking in this video, guys, uh, and what we want your help with is, uh, is Mitsubishi planning on bringing a truck, the L200, to, to America? America? Yeah. Because you know, when we get one set of spy pictures, we're like, okay, maybe they're just testing the truck here for overseas market. But we've seen this truck now from how many different people have sent us pictures of it so, from what so, parts of the country? So three. Okay. So I appreciate this. And I'm sorry I don't have all the names. I'll put them in the description, right, of you guys who send us pictures. We really appreciate that. Uh, for example, Jeremiah was one uh, from North Michigan. We had another image from Nor of the same prototype from North Michigan. And then recently we got these. So let me try to blow this up a little bit here. Same truck? Um, seems very similar, but maybe a little bit more dressed up if you look at the rear light. And where, so were, the, where were these captured? This is in Naples, Florida. In Naples, Florida. What a weird place for a, a truck. For a tester. Yeah, it is weird. You so Naples, Florida, manufacturer plates, uh, same bar, uh, more finished uh, tail lights. Could it be? Are they bringing right. this? So Upper Peninsula in winter, cold weather testing, Naples, Florida, summer, uh, winter, warm weather testing, maybe? I mean, <laughs> yes. that, that would be my guess. Uh, but the question is, is Mitsubishi seriously thinking about bringing uh, this truck to America, or are they just testing it here uh, for world markets? Yeah, that's very interesting. I think, uh, so my opinion is, maybe they should, because let's look at the market, right? Uh, a lot of manufacturers are struggling to build trucks. You know, Chevy is kind of struggling, uh, chip shortages, other shortages with the Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon, Ford is struggling with the Ranger. But why would they um, struggle? They might struggle too. They're, uh, they they're, might struggle too. fighting but, for the same chips. But what if they had, a, you know, a glot of these L200s <laughs> and then they can sell it where we love trucks, are, right? Are you saying that there's a, there's a warehouse full of L200s? <laughs> Somewhere in, no. in the UK waiting to be converted to uh, left-hand drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Robert. But, but it could be. Look, uh, could we, uh, let's, let's, let's look at this logically. Are these left or right-hand drive? Do any of these Ooh, pictures show look. you? We see a left-hand drive. Okay, so that's a So big, it's converted. So that's a big clue that this could be uh, a truck. There, you can see the steering wheel right there. So that, that's a big clue that this could be a truck that's coming here to America. Uh, and, you know, I think it would be smart on Mitsubishi's uh, point. You know, Mitsubishi 
has a, a much bigger presence in Japan, for instance, than it does here in America. It's actually a very big multinational company. Uh, and here, you know, they're kind of seen as a, let's call it a second or third tier auto manufacturer. Or a value brand right, also. value brand. Yeah. Uh, but they've recently partnered with Nissan. Uh, so now they're uh, basically rebranding the Rogue. Uh, uh, and maybe, uh, you know, there might be some... Um, synergies? Synergies that, that, <laughs> could, sorry. that could be used to bring a truck. Look, the Frontier is selling off the hook, dude. Yes. You know, every mid They can't build enough yeah, of them. Every mid sized truck. How many Gladiators, for instance, did they sell last year? This is a very expensive truck. Yeah, like 75,000. 75,000. And this is like $60,000 pickups. And how many Tacomas? 250,000? Yeah, quarter million. Quarter million Tacomas. Yeah. This, is, this is now becoming. I remember when, you know, that was the amount of like mid sized sedans you'd sell if you were a very popular car manufacturer. And now you're doing that with trucks. Yeah. So, you know, I would applaud Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, if you're listening to this, uh, please bring the uh, L200 uh, to America. Call it the, you know, maybe rename it. I don't know. Do you like L200? Do you, no, I don't. I don't but like it's also called Triton in some uh, uh, in some markets okay. around the world. But look at this. Uh, I want to see some of these names. They have a model called the Trojan. Mm, right that here. Can be problematic. Uh, okay, a lot, well, lot, lot of meme potential. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, there's another model called the Warrior. That's okay. Remember, yeah, yeah. Nissan also has Warrior yeah, names. Yeah. And all, look at this, the Barbarian and Barbarian X. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger Mitsubishi is obviously still alive and well in California, so you can just see the commercial right now, right? <laughs> he could reprieve the barbarian <laughs> with a sword <laughs> and a truck. I, okay. think that, I think that would sell. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Do you think that Mitsubishi is actually testing a truck that they'll bring to the North American market, or is this just uh, testing trucks that will be eventually sold in the rest of the world? And if so, if you do believe that they're going to be sold in uh, North America, would you be interested in buying one? Let's do some product research for them. Yeah. Uh, comps. Yeah, and also, what would you like to see under the hood? Yeah. Because here in the UK market, for example, it's a small diesel, yeah. 150 horsepower. That probably won't fly here, right? Because uh, it's really hard to certify diesel engines. It takes a long time. So maybe they could use a Nissan V6, right? Yeah. Or maybe some other engine. I know so what I like to see under the hood. What? <laughs> A GTR? No, no. <laughs> I know. Come on, think about what Nissan, what Nissan has walked away from, which would be brilliant under the hood of that. A Cummins? Exactly. <laughs> a Cummins? <laughs> I'd love to see a Cummins under the hood of the Barbarian. <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be hard. I think that might be hard. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has just been a little bit of breaking news, potentially, uh, because well, we like to say, Andre, you saw it first on the fast lane truck, and thanks to our viewers. Yeah, thanks to you. The, without you, would this would not be possible. And guys, uh, can I do one more like public service announcement? What we get a lot of emails from you guys where you send us stories that we've already covered. We, it happened today, right? We just published the fact that the Ranger Raptor uh, is coming to America, and I got a boatload of emails from our viewers saying, "Did you know that the Ranger Raptor is coming to America?" Yes, we know that. <laughs> we also know that Jim Farley tweeted that it's coming to America. Yes. We did a, I think we, we did a story, story last yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, so go to tfl-studios.com. It has all of our website stories, all of our podcasts, all of our uh, news stories, and that way you will never miss out on any news, and you won't have to tell us news that we've covered like two days ago. But also, please send us uh, prototype shots. Yep. Yes, because we, we, we love that. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Ciao.